Mr. President, last Saturday, the country which I have the honor to represent, the Federation of Nigeria, became independent and assumed the rights and the responsibilities of a sovereign state. Today, Nigeria has been admitted into the United Nations organization and assumes still more responsibilities. On behalf of my countrymen in Nigeria, I thank you all most sincerely for accepting us as a fellow member in this organization. We are properly grateful for this recognition and for the generous and friendly gesture made by so many members who sent very distinguished delega delegations to join us in celebrating our accession to independence. I'm particularly pleased that so many important representatives could come to Nigeria on that occasion because they will be able to inform their governments of the genuine desire which Nigeria has to have friendly relations with you all. First, it is a desire of Nigeria, as I have said already, to remain on friendly terms with all nations and to participate actively in the work of the United Nations organization. Secondly, Nigeria, a large and a populous country of over 35 millions, has absolutely no territorial or, exp or expansionist intentions. Thirdly, we shall not forget our old friends and we are proud to have been accepted as a member of the British Commonwealth. But nevertheless, we do not intend to align ourselves as a matter of routine with any of the power blocks. We are committed to uphold the principles upon which the United Nations organization is founded. Fourthly, Nigeria hopes to work with other African states for the progress of Africa and to assist in bringing all African territories to a state of responsible independence. It the recent tragic events in the Congo Republic must be uppermost in all our minds. And it is about that country which I wish to speak to you first. I frankly admit, Mr. President, that there are many features of this seemingly intractable problem which remains obscure to me. I am in some doubt as to the exact manner in which the Constitution granting independence to that country was drawn up by the colonial power 